Hello my crafty friends, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Today we're going to make a quick little all occasion card. You can use it for a get well card, a thinking of you card, a friendship card. It could even be um, a birthday card. We'll be using the Give a Hoot cartridge and I've picked a really cute image out of here. And our paper is going to come from this KI Memories paper pad called Doilies. I found this at Walmart and it's got some really, really cute, pretty papers in here. And these are all double sided. And I love these colors. For our sentiments, we'll be using one of my Cards TV stamp sets. This one's called This and That because it's got a little bit of everything on here. And we're going to use Have a Happy You Day and Happy, Happy, Happy. So I'll get everything out of the way and we'll get started. We'll start with a craft card base and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Next we've got a white mat which I've cut at four by five and a quarter. And then on top of that from that little uh, paper pad I've got this blue mat and it's three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And it's a blue background and then there's a little darker blue flowers all through it. It's a very sweet paper. I went ahead and stamped the sentiment down here, Have a Happy You Day. And I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. Now I'm going to get my ATG gun and get these layered together and get them on the front of the card. Now we're going to set this aside because I've got two border pieces that I'm going to adhere together that are going to go across our card. I've got another piece of that craft and I cut this at two and three eighths by five and one eighth. Then I've got another piece of white and this was cut at two and a quarter by five and one eighth. I'm going to layer those together. Now look at this beautiful embossing on here. Can you see that? I got a new Cuddlebug folder. This is an Anna Griffin, and I'm not sure how you pronounce this. It's Matalace, M A T E L A S S E. But I think it's just beautiful. It looks like woven ribbon. And I thought it would be really sweet on the front of this card. So I'm going to adhere these two together. And then I took my Scallop Scallop Punch, and I've got some green cardstock and I cut this at an inch and a quarter by five and an eighth and I've got this edge scalloped and after I adhere these two together I'm gonna line this up so it's evenly spaced and put this little green scalloped edge on here and then I'll just trim the ends off and then we'll put that on the front of our card. So let's get these adhered together and then I'll show you the cute little image I cut from that give a hoot cartridge. I've got that scalloped edge adhered and now I'm going to take my scissors and trim this off and then get this adhered to the front of my card. I love how the front of this card is looking. Now from the give a hoot cartridge I wanted to cut this uh, tree branch and it's under border on page 32 and here it is right here I think it's so cute I also cut the nest with the eggs and I'll show you that in just a minute but I cut the back of the branch out of some brown and then I cut this top piece out of green and I've cut this at two inches and adhered those together and I wanted to put that little nest with the eggs in it, so I flipped over to page 36. I have seen this every time I look at this cartridge, and I've wanted to do something with it, so I'm glad I finally did. That's page 36. Here's the bottom of the nest and the top of the nest, and under layer are the three little eggs. And I cut the bottom of the nest out of some craft paper and the top out of a little bit darker brown and I just adhered this to that branch. I think that's so pretty and so sweet and I'm going to adhere it to the front of the card just like that. 
I don't think I'm going to pop it up because I've got so much dimension going on already and I have got the three little eggs popped up but I cut the branch at two inches and the nest and the eggs I cut at an inch and a half and I've also got uh, a branch for the inside and I'll show you that in just a minute but I'm going to go ahead and get this put on the front with my two-way glue pen here's the front of my card all finished I just love the way that looks now I've already done the inside and on the inside I've got a white mat and it is four and a quarter by three and a quarter I have a green mat which is three and one eighth by four and one eighth and then I use some more of that sweet little blue paper and this is three by four and right down here I used happy 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 from the this and that stamp set and I also used memento tuxedo black ink for that and then here is another branch that I cut out now this one I cut at an inch and a quarter and I just snipped the end off because I wanted it to just come you know about halfway across here but I think it turned out really cute just love that little nest with those little blue eggs in it very very sweet thank you so much for coming by today guys and I hope to see you again soon with another card bye now